Hello and congratulations on considering modern languages at Kellywith College. I'm Laura and I teach A-level French at the college. We also offer A-level Spanish and A-level German. You'll hear from my colleagues Laura and Alex a bit later on. Students often wonder whether A-level language study is for them and how different it is from studying at GCSE. Well I'm here to put your mind at ease and then later on you'll hear from some of our students. For all three languages, the course teaches three things. Firstly, the essential grammar and vocabulary of the language, which you're used to from GCSE. Two, the culture and history of the countries where the language is spoken. And finally, the study of film and literature in their original language. It's far more exciting than GCSE languages. If you find the idea of learning more grammar and vocabulary intimidating, then please don't worry. We cover the basics as well as moving swiftly on to more complex ideas, so all levels are catered for, including native speakers. The main topics are similar across all three languages. We build on some more familiar topics like changes in family structures, but also think about issues such as young people's identity, fashion, the importance of a country's heritage and culture, and learn about the vibrant traditions and celebrations of not just one country, but many others who speak the language you're learning. Learning French, German or Spanish is about so much more than learning about France, Germany and Spain. We're now all going to tell you about the cultural elements which are different for each language. In French, the history theme is all about the German occupation of France during the Second World War. Many students aren't even aware that France was occupied for over four years. It was an exciting period of history and students are often surprised how much they enjoy this topic. In year one, we study a film, Intouchable, a French feel-good comedy about a wealthy disabled man and a young criminal who become firm friends. In year two, we study a novel by the modern author Delphine de Vigan. It consists of 50 short chapters and is narrated by a 13-year-old girl. So it's easy to understand and full of brilliant, funny and moving writing. It's about homelessness too, so it fits perfectly with the cultural topics for second year. I'm now going to hand over to my colleagues. He will tell you a little bit about the cultural and historical side of first German and then Spanish. Hello, my name is Alex and I'd like to tell you a bit more about what is special about the German A-level course in addition to what Laura has already told you about the things that apply to all our language courses at the college. Um, our history unit in German deals with the events leading up to German reunification in the years 1989 and 1990. And we also look at the development of Germany since that momentous event, which leads us right up to current affairs. The book we study in German is called Der Vorleser. The English title is The Reader. And this is a story about an unusual relationship between a boy and an older woman. But it also looks at how Germany has been dealing with its Nazi past. The film we study in German is called Die fetten Jahre sind vorbei. And the English title is The Educators. And this is a story about three young people in Berlin and their friendship with each other, but also about their fight against the injustices in our modern world. Something else I'd like to tell you about briefly is our German exchange, which runs in conjunction with Truro College and its well-established link with the gymnasium in Göttingen. Göttingen is a lovely old, vibrant university town right in the centre of Germany. And what is special about this exchange is that students complete a week-long work placement of their own choice. And this really helps them stand out from the crowd when it comes to UCAS applications or applying for employment. During that visit to Germany, we also um, visit a former border crossing point between East and West Germany. Um, which is now a really interesting museum and that really helps our students get a better understanding of the history topic we do. I hope to see you all soon at college. So in Spanish we study the Spanish Civil War and Franco's dictatorship including repression, censorship and women's rights 
Um, we also look at what's happening in Spain today and whether people have come to terms with the past. And actually we find out that many people are still fighting for justice. Um, students find they really enjoy this topic, even though it's quite sad in parts and quite shocking. Um, but we study the book El Otro Árbol de Guernica in the second year, which links in really well with the history topic. It's about a boy who is evacuated during the Spanish Civil War to Belgium and all the experiences he has there. Um, in the first year, we study Maria Llena Eres de Gracia, which is a Colombian film which follows a pregnant 17 year old and her attempts to provide for her family in rural Colombia. Um, and in 2019, we ran a study trip to Valencia. And as soon as we can, we would like to go to either Granada or Seville, Seville um, for our next trip. So A-level languages are a blend of language and other subjects like psychology, sociology, history and geography. Uh, they complement any number of humanities or STEM subjects and can lead to a wide range of careers or university courses. Employers in the business sector and the finance and engineering sectors are crying out for linguists. And the translation sector on its own is worth billions of dollars. So with a degree in languages, you, you could have a career in almost anything. Um, marketing, government, teaching, translation, interpreting, um, many more. We know that studying a language at A-level can be challenging. So we put every effort into helping you at every step of the way. As well as your lessons, you have a one-to-one -one speaking session every week with your lecturer. And the college offers a range of academic and personal support. So we hope you will consider applying to study languages at Caliwith. And we look forward to meeting you soon. Here are some testimonials from Caliwith students to help you make your mind up. Hi, my name is Macy and I'm studying French History and English Literature at A-Level alongside an EPQ. I chose French because I'm fascinated with the culture and think that knowing another language is a valuable skill to have for any job or simply just for travelling. At French A-Level you will learn about a variety of different French customs from youth trends to national holidays alongside the French grammar. In the future I'd love to live and work in Paris and I'd like to go to university to study languages more. I love German because of all the opportunities that it opens. Next year, during my gap year, I'm looking to spend a few months possibly volunteering in Germany and without the help and guidance from my lecturer Alex, I wouldn't have had the confidence or the skills to be able to do that. So thank you very much for all the help and the opportunities that German has opened for me. Hi, my name is Mari. I'm studying A-level French as well as chemistry and psychology. I chose A-level French because I found it really interesting at GCC, it was one of my favourite subjects, but also I knew it would look really good on my CV and keep my options open for the future. Um, it differs from GCC a lot, um, but in a really good way. You learn so much more about the culture of France and French speaking countries, and you really get to know the sorts of things that are happening there and just worldwide issues um, and learn how to get your point across in French. It's amazing. Um, I've gained a lot from it. I've gained knowledge of the culture, a love of the culture, as well as just abilities and confidence of speaking mainly. Um, yeah, it's just been a really good experience so far. Um, I would recommend it 100%. Uh, you use it in everyday situations. For example, I work in a cafe and sometimes in the summer I speak more French than I do English. So it's really, really versatile, especially in a tourist area like Cornwall. Um, and it really puts your CV ahead above the rest when you go to apply for a uni, or even a job application, just having a language just makes you look so much better. So I would say give it a go if it's something you enjoy um, and persevere with it. Everyone will find it difficult at the start because it's so much stuff compared to what GCC was, um, but persevere with it and it will become one of your favourite subjects, trust me. Hi, my name's Kane. I studied French and Spanish at Caliwith College. The teachers there are amazing, so supportive, and I made lots of progress whilst I was there. Thanks to Caliwith College, I'm now studying French and Spanish and Arabic at university, and I'm teaching myself Slovak. Without Caliwith College, I wouldn't have, the, have had the drive or motivation 
to carry on my love of languages. I'd thoroughly recommend it to anyone who's thinking about taking a language or two.